Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Miss Norma. Happy Sabbath, Shabbat Shalom, amen. So good to see everyone, so good to be seen. This is our reading for April the 22nd, amen. It's titled, Faith Over Feelings. Our scripture lesson is Isaiah 55, verse 6, and that's from the Old Testament. It reads, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Amen. Amen. Thank you, family, and welcome to our new subscribers. Welcome to um, all of you. Um, I just want to share briefly. Um, this morning when I got up, my song for today, uh, the Lord had given me um, this song, and it's titled, Awesome God. And I know that um, some of you, there are several versions of this song out, but the one that kept playing over in my head when I woke up this morning was Awesome God. And I kept hearing, I said, who is this singing this song, um, Awesome God? And I kept listening and listening, and then it came to me. And it was Rich Mullins. And of course, you know that I cannot play it, but I just got to read the words to you um, before we begin. But this is our song for today. Um, I've added it to the playlist already um, this morning. And um, so if you get a chance, listen to it. But it starts off with, when he rolls up his sleeves, he ain't just putting on the Ritz. Our God is an awesome God. There's thunder in his footsteps and lightning in his fist. Our God is an awesome God. And the Lord wasn't joking when he kicked them out of even Eden. It wasn't for no reason that he shed his blood. His return is very close, so you better be believing that our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above. With wisdom, power, and love, our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above. With wisdom, power, and love, our God is an awesome God. And when the sky was starless in the void of the night, our God is an awesome God. He spoke into the darkness and created the light. Our God is an awesome God. Judgment and wrath he poured out on the Sodom. Mercy and grace he gave us at the cross. I hope that you have not too quickly forgotten that our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with the wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. With wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Amen. Our God is an awesome God. Amen. I tell you, family, I put this song on this morning, and I just played it over and over several times. But the part that really, really got me going, it said when he rolls up his sleeves, he ain't just putting on the Ritz. Our God is an awesome God. It said there's thunder in his footsteps, and lightning in his fist. Our God is an awesome God. I tell you, when I listened to those lyrics and I thought about some of the things that I've experienced, that others have experienced, and I'm telling you, I couldn't wait to get here today to share this one with you. So if you get a chance, go on our playlist and listen to Our God is an Awesome God because I'm telling you, you are just going to be so blessed. And there was, there's another one that I um, listened to today. 
And um, I know we've all heard the song, How Great Thou Art. But I heard a, a group sing it today, and I've never heard it sung like that. So that is being added to our playlist as well. And it's called How Great Thou Art, but it's by the Bonner family, B-O-N-N-E-R. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, family, you're really, really, really going to enjoy it. So go and listen to today, if you get a chance, um, on, um, on our YouTube music station channel that we have. Or you can listen to it on YouTube. And I'm telling you, um, it is them singing, How Great Thou Art. I never heard it saying like that before, but oh, I tell you, that is, um, <laughs> I just enjoyed it and I want you to have fun and enjoyed it and I was truly, truly blessed by it and um, listen to them and um, let me know, get back to me. I'm telling you, I was so, so excited about them this morning. I started to come on YouTube early this morning and copy the link and put it in every comment that I could get my hands on. And not saying that I won't do it, but I had um, my um, uh, Bible study class this morning and all that aside from my personal worship. So um, I didn't have time to do it, but I just might do that like I did before uh, with the other song. I think I did um, the Matthew West song, Child of the One True King. But enjoy, family. Oh, and I didn't talk so much. Let us get on with this reading. See, I'm thinking I had did the reading already. My apologies. I'm very loquacious today, so please forgive me. Amen. It says, Faith over our feelings. One night, as I lay in my bed, I silently prayed to God, asking him, Where are you? Why can't I feel your presence? Please don't abandon me. The Bible verse about seeking God while he can be found in the Old Testament is Isaiah 55 verse 6 resonate with me and scares me all at once because it means that there will come a time when God literally cannot be found. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 7, the New Testament, the last book in the New Testament, that God has his angels at the four corners of the earth holding back the four winds of strife until all of God's people are sealed. But as the time approaches for God's Son, Jesus Christ, to return to earth and usher his faithful followers to heaven, God will release his angels from holding the four winds. This action will birth a time of trouble like never before that will affect every human who lives on the earth. According to Mo Amos in the Old Testament, chapter 8, verses 11 and 12, people will be desperately seeking the word of the Lord, but, can't, but, but not find it. We need to be ready, and the only way that we as Christ followers can be ready is if we seek God daily while he can be found. But in times when God still can be found, it is important to choose faith over our feelings. Our feelings are fickle. We cannot rely on their whimsy forecasts, but we can rely on God's word. Jesus promises to be with us until the end of the world. New Testament, Matthew chapter 28, verse 20. When your feelings tell you that God has forsaken you, Override your feelings with faith by focusing on scripture that says God will never leave you nor forsake you. While I still struggle with choosing faith over my feelings, resting on God's promises to always be there for me keeps me encouraged and reminds me that I need to trust him, not how I feel. The Bible says in Psalms 146 verses 3 and 4 in the Old Testament, not to put your trust in princes nor people, because they are mortals who cannot save you. Only Jesus Christ 
can save your life. Choosing faith over feelings makes all the difference. Won't, won't you trust him? Amen. Our reading today was written by Alexis A. Goring. Amen. And family, I tell you, faith over our feelings. Our feelings are our emotions, and they can turn off, and they'll be every which way sometimes. Sometimes we're up high, sometimes we're down low, and we lean, we go with the wind wherever it's going. Oh, I feel like this, and I feel like that. But your faith is solid and steadfast. And you don't want to be emotionally tossed and driven. So you have to have your faith to hold on. It's your anchor. No matter what the temperature is outside, no matter how high the water gets, or even how low it gets, whether you're thirsty or whether you're bowling over with so much to drink, your faith is always consistent. Remain consistent. Pray for consistency. And I'm talking from experience because I've had those days of being high up and then I come back down and you're feeling on low. One thing I've learned is not to make decisions when I'm like that. The other thing I've learned is I don't make decisions late at night when it's time to go to sleep because my brain has been through something all day long. So when I have an important decision to make, I sleep on it. And I wake up to it fresh in the morning. And sometimes I consciously listen for a word from the Lord. But there have been times that when I wake up, I will hear the voice of the Lord telling me, do this or do that. So I'm telling you, family, don't live in your feelings, a.k.a. your emotions. Live in your faith. Amen. Have a blessed and wonderful day. The sun is shining outside. I'm going out for a little bit, going by to see my grandson. He's four years old, and he told his, his grandma that he's sick this morning. <laughs> He probably is, but I'm going by to see my little Lucas. Amen. Blessed day, family. Have a wonderful day. I pray that um, all is well. Any prayer requests, any comments, I'm going to go back and I'm going to read the comments when I come back in this evening. And um, I haven't been able to read them every day. We've been very, very busy at work. And I've been on the road and up and down the highways almost every day this week at work. So, um I will be reading the comments tonight. Leave me a comments. If you need to email me, email me at nh2783.utb at gmail.com. Or you can leave uh, a comment for me in the comments. Or if you know me personally, you can text me. Um, but um, just leave me um, a message if you need to, a prayer request or anything. And please remember all of the requests that we have um, placed out over the um, past couple of weeks. Some of you have shared. I have shared some with you all. Um, and I believe little Annie, I think today is her, should have been her last day of her 12 days. Um, I think 12 days of chemo. I think it's just about up now. Um, her 12 days of chemo. But thank you for your prayers and all. And um, we haven't got an update yet from her mom, but um, Miss Annie is a strong little eight-year-old girl, and she's been um, living and dealing with cancer and all that comes with it since she was four years old. So I know that there are other families out there um, going through the same thing, having similar stories as Annie's mom, Shy, as her mother, uh, you know, um, uh, has been dealing with this as well. Amongst other losses, she lost her mom and her grandmother. She lost her mom, I think, during the year or a year or so after Annie, um, was diagnosed and just recently um she funeralized her grandmother and so um and she had the other daughter uh 
BB that had um, a major health issue as well. So let's continue to lift up families that are going through and that need our support there for prayer. Sometimes you can't do anything else but pray. And in certain situations, you know, the Lord has us here. So let us pray much for one another, for families in crisis, families that are in bereavement, just unexpected situations that have happened in people's lives. And they are truly almost in, you know, I'm saying, you know, in states of devastation. Let's remember to pray for them and pray for our world at large, all of the things that are happening outside of the United States and the things that are happening here as well inside the United States. I'm getting ready to go to see my little Lucas now. So enjoy the rest of the afternoon, family, and by his grace, I'll see you later. And, um... My sweet cousin, Nene, thank you for being on the job. And um, I'm getting back on mine. Amen. Blessing and healing to the land. I love you, family. And remember that the Lord loves you best. Have a wonderful afternoon and a blessed weekend. And by his grace, I'll see you on tomorrow. Amen. And in the comments later on this evening, I'll be answering back. See you, family. Amen.